Well, time to go. Crack of dawn. And uh, just want to thank Brad and Dana for putting us up for the last, oh man, like seven weeks. Yeah. We've been here forever. And it snowed every day of day. are with Phil and Elaine on their boat. We're gonna have a jam session tonight. They've made us dinner and it's an absolutely beautiful night here on the water. We stopped in Kennewick, Washington, and we've been with our friends Phil and Elaine on We Be Jammin'. These guys are the ones that run the Gemini group on Facebook that have just been absolutely quintessential to our experience in helping us, especially with questions that we had. They let us stay here for the night. Thank you, guys. You're welcome. Anytime. Okay. We Be Jammin'. So even though the sun is shining here in Kennewick, Washington, uh, the forecast for going over Snoqualmie Pass to our friend's house in Issaquah looks really nasty, like this bad. So since it's bad, we're actually gonna take the very long way around. We're gonna go down to Portland, uh, and then we'll go all the way up through Seattle to Issaquah. So it's probably an extra four hours on our drive, but Snoqualmie looks nasty. So we made it to sunny, warm Seattle, where it immediately has started snowing. And at this point, I am forced to believe that it's not them, it's us. It's us, and we are carrying with us some sort of winter curse. And everywhere I go, it's gonna snow. Fresh mountain water right there. We came to the University of Washington campus to see the cherry blossoms, which are amazing. And uh, we're just here with our 50,000 best friends. So it's a great time. So to get here, we had to park down the longest, windingest set of stairs that had been found other than maybe like Hogwarts. I kind of seemed to shift and uh, find another row. And uh, we've descended to the 21st level of hell. <laughs> and that's, that's right where we parked. Yay, the 21st level. And the garden tour continues. Come here to the Japanese tea garden in Seattle to see what's what. Of course, this place should need very little in the way of introduction. Mike's Place Market, always a fantastic time. Free smells everywhere you go, flowers, fish, magic, all sorts of fun things. Iringi mushrooms. Shmingy. Now if you come here, make sure you rub the pig's nose. Legend has it, if you rub the nose, you'll be back. But below Pike's Place, 
this little alleyway or something really horrible. Something so repellent and disgusting that it really has to be seen to be believed. This is what's called the bubblegum wall. Millions and millions and millions of pieces of gum splattered all over the walls. Bored customers at the local comedy club started it out by, by sticking their gum to the wall. And uh, it's just been added to and added to over the years. They've tried cleaning off sections and it's apparently just a hopeless endeavor. It's very fun and very gross. to Gumball Alley? No, I'm working on my arm. Oh. oh that's smooth. Gumballs and sourdough bread. You're set. Excuse me, I believe I ordered the R. Now that's a root beer float. Beautiful views with beautiful friends. Dear Brian, happy birthday to you. So the heater has gone out on the van and uh, not exactly sure what it is, but I've gone all the way back through the fuses, the relays. Now I'm going to replace the blower fan. Carrie and I are uh, up hiking at Tiger Mountain. Rawr! So pretty up here though. It's just like everything is growing on everything. There's just like ferns and moss and all these really beautiful majestic trees with again more ferns and more moss hanging off of them. So because uh, we've lost all heating, air conditioning, and we're here in Washington and it's freezing, <laughs> we've got our propane heater on so that uh, we can feel our hands and stuff while we drive around. So And survive. I don't the, know if we're going to survive. That's the kind of class act we got over here. We got, <laughs> our, you know, got our stove on while the van's going, so it seems safe. I'm sure it's fine. And if you're going to come to the Washington State Spring Fair, may I suggest Texas sized turkey leg. I'm taking shots at the enemy. I'm gonna make it to the top, leave a legacy. If I got something to say, you better let me speak. Turn it up a new degree, bitch, you ain't seen anything. I pop off with the new rock, electronic, blow the sonic proof up. I'm too honest when I take a few shots. They're too toxic, need to take the new song. And you cannot save me, cause I don't need saving. It's everything I've been chasing, all here for the taking. Don't wanna test your luck with me, I think I've had enough disease. I'm sick of all the bad thoughts, people who are half guns You are not as tough as <laughs> So 
So the van maintenance odyssey continues. Uh, in the last two months, we've had serpentine belt where all the pulleys uh, had corroded and it needed to be replaced. Uh, we had a leaking oil filter cooler housing uh, that needed to be replaced and required like the entire engine to come apart. We got it a tune-up while it was there. Then as soon as we got up here to Washington, the uh, all the HVAC went out. So no heat, no cooling, no fan, no defrost, nothing. Uh, and for that, I replaced the fuses and the relays and the fan motor and the variable resistor because those were all the four top items that can cause that. Turned out it wasn't any of those. So I paid a company here locally to diagnose and fix it. But uh, all they were able to do was diagnose that the controller module is bad and that uh, controller module, the real part from Mopar was four to eight weeks out. So I've ordered one out of a, a wrecked ProMaster that looks like to be identical. It'll be here tomorrow. So today I'm gonna start disassembling the dash to, uh, to get in here and take it apart. So it's not a lot of fun. Okay, now, after much ado, I am loose. And we can see the back of this. Okay, so we got this out, brought it inside, taking a look, and I can see where it's gotten wet here and corroded some of these. Just like that, we're back together again. Everything works. So again, just make sure that you get the exact right model number. Mine didn't have a rear defroster, so make sure you get the right one so that the programming matches what you have. And when you're in Washington, make sure you stop by Taco Time. The crisp meat burrito. It's got the burnt ends. Oh, where they put it right there in the deep fryer. And I suggest one for each hand. <laughs>